Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Mosaic Football No Huddle Edition. Four box, pick your team number three. Remember Jason Jaspi came in early today and knocked out the first couple right here. So you can see on the top camera right there the three stacks of four boxes. We're going to use that die right there. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six on the dice roll and the, that'll be the stack that we do. It's going to be three. One, two, three, four for break three. We're going to do that middle stack right here. And these we will save for next time, which I'm sure we'll do shortly. I think there's only a couple spots left in that next uh, four box no huddle break. So as you may have guessed, no huddle is a lot like, uh, like fast break for basketball, quick pitch for baseball. Big thanks to all of these lovely people here for getting into the action. Four box, no huddle. Pick your team three. Mosaic football. On a Friday. Thanks for spending a bit of your Friday with us. There you go. Joe Howard. Yeah, it has been a while. He's got his Ravens. There you go. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate it. There it is. So we're looking for one auto a box. That's the, the pack and uh, card configuration right there. There's no huddle parallels that we're looking for. Yeah, all sorts of good stuff. I think cardboardconnection.com has, has some good details on the exclusive card breakdown. Should be a lot of fun. Thanks for joining us, folks. More in the store. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I think uh, I think Ted has personals too, at Jaspie's Breaks on Instagram. You can buy a whole box to yourself if you don't feel like sharing, which is okay. Yeah, I think uh, Raven Ravens with second year or second third year Lamar Jackson. J.K. Dobbins, I think, I think that 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 has made the Ravens a pretty popular team. And I think everything ships. Yeah, all cards ship in this. James says, "Well, not you're not buying you're not buying Lamar Jackson. You don't trust his arm when the game's on the line. Mahomes, Wilson, Rodgers, you trust? Yeah, the Ravens do have to get over get over that sort of playoff hump, right? They do great in the regular season, but is that arm going to take him to a Super Bowl? I don't know. We'll see. He's still pretty. Thing is, he's still pretty young. He's still pretty young." And he's still growing. He's he's a lot more raw than Patrick Mahomes. There's Khalil Mack, blue to seventy five for the Bears. Scott, Justin Herbert, NFL debut. What a debut for him! Didn't even know he's going to debut. Yeah, he's above average passer, but not elite. James is saying regarding Lamar Jackson. Here's the thing, though. I don't think, I don't think they're trying to coach him, or trying to play him to be an elite quarterback. You know what I mean? Or elite passer. That's not that's not the game. I don't think. They're not trying to force him into becoming an elite passer. They're working within his talent. I mean, that's I think that's the amazing part. That's what. Nice Justin Herbert, more for the Chargers. Rich, with that one. I think that's what's smart about the organization. You know, too many times you get play quarterbacks who don't have good arms, you know, and maybe you try to force them into making plays where you need a good arm, you know what I mean? You try to turn people into a, a pocket passer or, or take a non-pocket passer and turn them into a runner or something. I don't know, something like that. Coaches do that all the time. It's Chris Jones, 20 for the Chiefs. 
But I think the, the Ravens coaching staff has really has has really worked, you know, within the context of everyone's talents. So and it's been successful so far. Now they gotta make that successful in the playoffs. That's I mean that's the next step, so you know, maybe that takes another year or two of marinating. Maybe this happens this year. Maybe this guy helps. You know? Match it up with a good defense. Maybe they don't they maybe they're planning on not having to make double digit deficit comebacks, James. Maybe that's the idea. There's defenses that can do that. There's Ricky Williams. Dolphins. Right. Yeah. And the Ravens have a history of doing things with quarterbacks that may not have Yeah, Kip is right. Joe Fl Joe Flacco won won a Super Bowl with the Ravens. Rookie Darrington Evans in that exclusive format here. Was that defense? Was that defense ranked twenty fourth that when, when Joe Flacco won it? There is there's a Mar Jackson right here. But if you look at year one to year two. I mean, he his his arm wasn't that great in year one, but he made a lot of improvements in that off season. There's your autograph, Neil Anderson. And so I feel like he's made more improvements this off season. So I that, that's that's interesting too. Something to something to keep in mind. So it's not like he's not teachable as a as a thrower of the football. Scott with the Bears. And so far, across a couple of weeks, it doesn't seem like he's regressed as a passer, right? I still, I still think that he's, he's made some improvements there. All right, next box. Actually, I need a shoe box to put all these cards in. break. Put the card safely here. Inside the shoe box. Great. Let's pop open the second box. I don't know. I think I think our it's it's an exciting time, not only for the hobby but for for the NFL, because there are a lot of this is the next we're looking at the next generation of quarterbacks, right? Rodgers on the tail end of his career, Brady Brady and Bree certainly are. I mean, I mean who who's like the elder quarterback state, statesmen after Breeze and Rivers and Brady are gone? Right? I don't even know who the elder statesman is. I mean, Derek Carr might be an elder statesman after those guys retire. I'm trying to think. I guess Cam Newton, maybe. But we're looking at a whole new crop of quarterbacks. Kyler Murray. Baker Mayfield. Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, Joey Burrow, Joey B, Tua, 
you know, there, there's a bunch of young quarterbacks. Quarterbacks haven't even, even hit their fifth year yet, right? Who aren't even out of their, their rookie contract yet. Justin Herbert. I mean, that's a, that's a whole new crop of quarterbacks that are good for the hobby and good for the NFL. Because how long do quarterbacks last forever, right? If, if they're decent... You know, they, they could be they could be on these guys could be on their respective teams for 10, 15 years. Yeah, Dak Prescott, he's trying to get a second contract. There's Darius Slate. I don't know why I don't know why they're kind of jerking him around, but Darius Slayton for the Giants, Matthew. But there's a whole crop of yeah. I guess I, I guess Russell Wilson might be the next oldest after the after that next crop after the older crop of players quarterbacks leave. Yeah, by by a few years I think. Here's Kenny Galladay. Couple years, maybe a few years. Right, yeah. I, I mentioned Rivers and Rogers, Robert Ives. Yeah, Brady, Breeze, Rivers, Rogers. That that's like the old crop of superstar quarterbacks. You know that are gonna be that are gonna be out of the league, and you know. I mean, in a few years, they'll, they'll be retired. AZ, this is uh, pick your team number three. Where's Nightbot with the schedule? There's NFL debut, base, Joe Burrow. I think he's looked... Pretty promising in the first couple of games. Still looking for his first win. Could have had one in week one. Maybe an overtime win. That kicker could have hit that field goal. Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Are people still on him? Chiefs. Kessler with that one. Chase Young, blue to 75. I think he's been playing great the first couple of weeks of his career. Josh Jacobs has been doing well. Yeah, a couple years on car, right? Yeah, 29 and 31. Yeah, so it's kind of, isn't it weird to think that Russell Wilson and Derek Carr are going to be, just in terms of age, like elder statesmen of their quarterback, of the quarterback group? Like, they're going to be the old guys. I feel like it was just yesterday when, when Russell Wilson just appeared on the scene. There's Jared Goff. J.K. Dobbins in that uh, no huddle parallel. Ravens, Joe Hauer. Okay. <laughs> He's no Blake Bortles. Is. When's he going to get? A, when, when's Blake Bortles going to get a chance for Denver? Are they really going to ride with Jeff Driscoll? Get Blake out there. Let's see what Blake. Let's see what Blake can do. Former Blake Bortles, former first round pick. Get some of that first round mojo back. NFL debut: Tua Tagovailoa for Jeff K. There you go. Kip's looking for, yeah. What would it take? There's a nice base to it right there. What would it take for Blake Bortles cars to skyrocket back up in terms of secondary market value? Kip is saying 300 yards and three TDs would be would be enough. And the win maybe? 
a, a shootout. Well, they're playing. They're playing. Uh, they're hosting Tampa Bay. I think they're hosting Tampa Bay. So if Blake Bortles gets into a shootout, gets into a shootout with uh, with Tom Brady, and gets the win, woo. Yeah, that Justin Jefferson is really solid. That goes to the Vikings. Patrick with that one. There's Devin DuVernay, another purple team. That is for Joe Howard and the Ravens. A couple more boxes to go. We've got more in the store, too. Check it out. Me too, Danny. <laughs> I was actually kind of rooting against Fitzpatrick yesterday as well so that we can see Tua sooner. Oh, yeah, yeah, Matt Ryan, Brian Ashley's mentioning. I guess that he would be another... How old is Matt Ryan? How many more years does Matt Ryan have? Or is he younger than I think he is? I don't know if that college uniform is a variation on that Justin Jefferson. Because I feel like I've seen other Justin Jeffersons in recent sets that are also... I think that's his main card in his college gear. They must not have gotten it, gotten a photo of him. He's 35? So, yeah, I mean, Stafford's got back issues. Who knows how, how much longer he's going to play? Matt Ryan probably has another, what, three or four years of prime Matt Ryan, of above-average quarterback Matt Ryan before he declines as well. I don't know if he's going to play into his 40s. That's in, like, four years. He'd be 40 years old by then. So yeah, the, the, those that's in the Matt Ryan's another sort of quarterback, that in Stafford too. So yeah, I mean, there's gonna be a whole new crop of new quarterbacks, the next generation of quarterbacks. Are the rookie discos all in their college unis? College, not college. College, not college. So maybe maybe they are variations. All right, and there's Elvin Bethea autograph for the Houston Oilers. Of course, Euler stuff will go to the Titans. Chet with that one. All right, another NFL debut, Joey B, going to Richard and the Bengals. And all of these, I'm sure all of these parallels add up. Keel Kessler with Clyde Edwards Hilaire. There's me. I thought Minchu would do a lot better yesterday. I'm just talking about Aaron Rodgers, 41 out of 75. Aaron Rodgers looking good this year for the Packers. Ricky, so far so good. There's Boomer Esiason, Mark Andrews Pro Bowl, Disco Format. All card chip too, ladies and gentlemen. Keep that in mind. There's Le'Veon Bell. Jacob Eason, Jacob Eason, Tom Brady, Will Fuller, the fifth, 16 out of 50. Came up with which name? Kip. Mosaic or Disco, the Disco Refractor? There's AJ Brown, blue to 75.
Oh, the Elvis guy from the movie? Old Elvis. And we've got a silver Joshua Kelly for the Chargers. This guy's pretty good, right? Chargers, that goes to Richard F. I actually picked him up on my fantasy team. And Daryl Henderson for some reason. It looks like I got two Los Angeles running backs on my team. Patrick Queen, Disco, also in his uh, college gear. Joe Burrow, base. Bengals, Richard. Chase Claypool. For the Steelers, that'll be for Michael Gallucci. He's had some nice moments in last week's game. Chase Claypool. And there's Tyler Johnson. For the Buccaneers, that's going to go to Danny. Tiki, Brian Edwards, and Michael Thomas. One more box to go. All right, good luck, everyone. Who does that? Uh, who does everyone? That's that, I mean, that's the game of the week, right? Chiefs at Baltimore, Kansas City at Baltimore. Who who does everyone have? I think I made a very early pick on that game already. I'm going. Uh, I'm going with Baltimore minus three and a half. Hopefully, it hasn't gone down to three. Kip says a tie. Man, I think the NFL, I think TV, I think TV networks would love that, actually, if it was a tie, because then the next time those two teams play, it'll be like boxing, right? It'll be like a box. It's like Raiders round two of Chiefs Ravens. You know, the first match ended up in a tie. Pat says Baltimore. They run the ball so well. And the best defense for Mahomes and Casey is to run the ball and the clock. Keep it out of their hands. Nicholas Galvin says Ravens. All right, final box. Good luck. We've got a gold, Brandon Ayuk, three out of ten. That will be for Grant and the Niners. Picked up the Niners straight up. And San Francisco pretty beat up. Christian McCaffrey is trying to make his way back. So many injuries in that week, too. And we've got
got a blue Kevin Bird. 53 out of 75. Cole Komet. Steve Young to 50 for the Niners. Grant with the Niners, that's to 50. And NFL debut, Silver, Henry Ruggs III. Very excited about Henry Ruggs III as a Raiders fan. This goes to Kevin and the Raiders. There you go, Kev with my Raiders. Stretches the field, allows the other, other pass catchers to operate in that offense. Now, if the Raiders can only figure that, you know, that defense out. I think maybe they're a couple years away from, from really getting that defense ready and be able to battle guys like Patrick Mahomes twice a year. Right, and Justin Herbert. Can't forget about Sean Jaspi's Chargers. Danny with the Buccaneers gets the Mosaic Disco Refractor Tom Brady. It's pretty cool. Darian to Nevins. Yeah, we like to have fun here, Richard Gilbert. <laughs> we like to have fun. Chiefs remind you of the Warriors. Yeah, that's 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 not a bad bad comp. I mean, the only thing, the only chance they have, the rest of the AFC West has is is for Patrick Mahomes to, and I don't want him to get injured, but like an untimely injury, you know, or he just has a down year after winning three Super Bowls in a row, or whatever. <laughs> Just got to wait for that sort of down year from Patrick Mahomes, and that's when the other AFC West teams could, could even possibly think about, about striking. There's Kurt Warner. Not that Kurt Warner, but old Seahawk Kurt Warner. Different bird team. That is for Kevin and Kevin Mendoza and the Seattle Seahawks. Kurt with a C. Kip misses the Warriors. The league wasn't the same once the whole roster got hurt. Yeah. There's Anna Vinatieri, 75. Yeah, it was kind of like everyone was gearing up to beat the Warriors. And they're like, well, now who are we supposed to be? Our whole mission in life was to beat the Warriors. And now we don't know what to do. And now we're in a bubble. Things are getting weird. But, hey, things were not weird in this break, though. Picker Team 3 was pretty solid. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Thanks, everyone, for breaking with us. We really appreciate that. Um, let's see, do I, is there any giveaway or anything like that? No, just a nice, clean, straight up break, start to finish. Thanks very much, everyone. Friday, the 25th, that was four box, no huddle. Pick your team number three, 2020 Panini Mosaic Football. Brand new release, just dropped today. More in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching, Joe. Thanks for watching, Jaspies. Thanks for supporting us. We'll see you next time, jazbeescasebreaks.com.